Good morning, good morning, and welcome to Saturday Sound Things with Mats. Hi, I'm Mats, and today I have two very special guests with me. The first one is Ashley Rink from John Elway Wine 7 Cellars, and the other person is Josh Robinson, as many of you know, from Whiskey Wednesdays, the face and co-owner of Argonaut. And today you can see that we had a change of venue. We are not at the recording studios of Argonaut. We're not at Empower Field at Marathai. We needed to add a little class, add a little distinction because that's what these wines are all about. So, before I drone on and on, Ashley, this is your show. Let's go. Hi everyone. Thanks for hanging out with us this morning. Um, I work for Seven Cellars, and Seven Cellars uh, is a partnership with One Hope Winery. Uh, John Elway and his longtime best friend and sports agent, Jeff Spurback, started the company about eight years ago. They partnered with One Hope for several reasons. It was a, One Hope is a winery rooted in purpose, and John was looking to find a winery to partner with, to make wines that would complement his steakhouses here in Denver and uh, Vale and Colorado, all over Colorado, the four restaurants in Colorado. Uh, John is a entrepreneur and knew this would be a great fit um, partnering with One Hope. We have four wines that we'll taste today. Very excited to share them with you. We've got um, our farm collection, which was released last year. And we also have our Elway's Reserve Cabernet. Okay, thank you, Ashley. The first wine we're talking about is from the farm collection, this beautiful Chardonnay. And here we are at the Ritz-Carlton at one of Elway's restaurants. It couldn't be a more perfect setting. And what I get right away is a little bit of buttercream, a hint of oak. You can tell that it has a little, oh please, a little malolactic, but it's done in neutral oak, and it's just elegant. Josh, what nuances are you getting? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's, I think you're dead on, Mods. I mean, there's a little bit of those kind of oaky notes that you get from the, the barrel, but it's not, you know, sometimes in Chardonnay it can get overpowering, right? It can be super oaky, super buttery, and this isn't that, right. which is nice, which right. is, you know, I'm not a huge Chardonnay drinker personally. But um, this is kind of the Chardonnay I gravitate towards. Something that isn't overly buttery, but still has a little bit of that barrel note. Reminds me a little bit of whiskey, you know, that sure, type of deal. Sure. <laughs> and how about you, Ashley? I love this Arroyo Seco Chardonnay. It's such a crowd-blazing style, very clean, pretty crisp. It's got great minerality, kind of a little bit of uh, lemon meringue, lemon citrus note on the back end, which is complementary to so many foods. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can do seafood, you can do eggplant, you can do vegetables or just drink it on its own. Mm -hmm. I Absolutely. think what's, what's special about these wines is A, they're very affordable. They're very friendly and approachable. More often you see celebrities slapping their name on a bottle of wine or champagne and hiking up the price so it's out of reach. These are under $20, and when Ms. Sheila puts them on sale, it's even a better bargain. And that's what I like, because he's reaching out to everybody, so everybody can enjoy these. That's a great point, Mots. Yeah, I mean, to get you know these kind of values under $20 is fairly rare in the industry. So, yeah, it's great price point, awesome juice so far. Excited to move on through the uh, next couple. I know. Pinot Noir. Hey. Beautiful nose. Really nice, almost like a strawberry shortcake nose, which which in Pinot, I, I look for. That's okay. kind of my, one of my favorite things in Pinot. A little cassis, a little cedar. Mm -hmm. Ashley, tell us about this. This is our Monterey Pinot. We have two different vineyards that we work with. One is in Santa Lucia Highlands, and the other is located in San Benito. This is a lot of premium fruit for a heck of a price. Um, there's a lot of cherry, kind of cola notes, a little bit of dried herb, but again, nice um, acid, not overpowering as far as the fruit component. It's so complimentary to so many foods, dishes as well. 
It really is. I mean, you could have it with fried chicken, you could have it with barbecue, you could have it with just friends or an appetizer, charcuterie. I know that's my favorite all the time, but it's, it's versatile. And what's nice is that the winemaker behind these wines, Rob Mandavi Jr., is a genius. Hmm. And we're so fortunate to have him because this product is just over delivering for such a good place. Yeah, Mats, you're totally dead on there. I mean, when you said versatile, I was thinking, you know, I eat here fairly often. I love this uh, place at Elway's. So their lamb lollipops would go perfect Heck with this. Yeah. <laughs> this Heck and the yeah. lamb lollipops, dead on. I mean, I think that's an awesome pairing. So. And you know, it's only going to get better because Ashley is going to tell us about this little QR code on the back of each bottle. So in, in light of COVID and getting more comfortable with using QR codes, we added that to the back of the bottle. We have, it goes straight to our website with recipes. It's amazing. And we have a featured chef this last quarter of the year, which is Chef Marco from the Elway's location downtown here in Denver. And he has his seven favorite recipes. You just scan it with your phone. Amazing, uh, makes it really easy to know exactly what foods would complement um, these specific wines. And we have those on all of our bottles. Yeah, and, and if you haven't met Chef Marco, I've met him a couple times, He the man is a wizard. I mean, the stuff he comes up with, uh, we had a dinner here for uh, like a rare whiskey release a couple weeks ago, and the food was unbelievable. Awesome. So Chef Marco, absolute genius, and if, if he's you know on talking about the wines, he'll have some great insights. I'm going to go watch these after that because he is the man. Love it. So that leads us to our third wine, the Seven Cellars Cabernet. Ashley? So the Cabernet... Mm. Mm. I know, the, the nose is the just nose is... intoxicating. Oh, it's I amazing. Love it. I love it, especially for the price. Go ahead. So that's another selling point and talking point about the farm collection. They're all premium appellations. And the farm collection Cabernet specifically comes from Paso Robles. Such an amazing value for Cabernet, world-class Cabernet, grown outside Napa Valley. Um, mm. This wine has so much going on just it straight does. out of the it glass. It really does. I was so shocked because it's been so long since I've had this particular Cabernet, and I was blown away by it because you get your blackberries, your black cherries, your black raspberries, your mocha, your dark chocolate, and it's so layered and so mm. well integrated. Mm -hmm. Josh, what do you think? Definitely. I mean, I think you're dead on. It's, it's a deep, complex wine, especially for the money. And I almost get like, the texture is really interesting. It's almost like like a Greek yogurt kind of note going on that I get, um, okay. that I really enjoy. Um, I'm a big cab drinker. That's kind of more my style as opposed to, you know, some of the lighter wines. So this is, like we said, especially for the money is something I will be grabbing in the future for sure. <laughs> right. With this, and I think the reserve that Ashley will tell us about, obviously, Elway Wines Seven Cellars Steak. Steak. For all you mm -hmm. non-meat eaters out there, I apologize. But this is one that just screens for a ribeye, a filet, a porterhouse, something covered in blue cheese. Yep, absolutely. <sighs> I don't want to go on to the next one, but I really do. <laughs> well, that's okay. Before we move on, I'll tell you a little bit about um, the label. Okay. Seven is obviously the number John played with his entire football career. Broncos. Go Broncos. Hey. Um, the farm is a nod to Stanford, where John played college ball, and farming is a pertains to winemaking. So we have a pitchfork and a field goal post. Really quite clever. Yeah. It's, it's great. So that leaves us one wine. One more. One left. Go well, ahead. Well, this is our flagship wine. Rob Mandavi Jr. is at the helm of all things of our two reserve wines. We do have a Chardonnay as well. We're not tasting today, but our reserve Cabernet is really all things Rob Mandavi Jr. and his relationships growing up in Napa Valley. He signs the back of the bottles, as does John. Um, these are both, uh, this is a single vineyard offering um, from Premium Fruit located up in Calistoga off the Bennett Lane Vineyard. Hmm. And what's really nice is that every one of the Chardonnays and the Cabernets in the reserve line have sold out in the last five, five and a half years. And so that's why they wanted to make the 
Seven Cellars because they wanted to continue the tradition and the excellence of the winemaking process without breaking the bank or running out of product. Mm -hmm. And so that's why we have such a variety and options and prices that just deliver. I am so Definitely. glad that you two are here. I know. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you so Cheers. much. Cheers. And to all of our viewers out there, keep watching, keep liking, keep drinking these wonderful wines. They'll be on sale because the holidays are coming up and I can't think of anything more perfect to celebrate with friends, family, good food mm -hmm. than these wines because they're just outstanding. So Ashley, thank you. The Josh, thank you. Before we part ways, I okay. also want to have a shout out to um, the organization that we give back to with every bottle we sell and supporting our veterans. We specifically donate back to Team Rubicon with every bottle we sell. Um, last year we made a donation over $15,000 wow. to the to Team Rubicon, which is uh, supports active and retired military veterans, um, volunteering their time and uh, for you know when there's a disaster and helping out communities all over the world. Um, in light of Veterans Day, thank you for your service, um, it's a fellow great, service men and women. It's a great wine for a great cause. And our friend Justin, his birthday today, happy birthday, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so thank you again, and please buy these wines. Come into Argonaut, we'll definitely help you and make the holidays a little bit more cheery. Absolutely. Okay, so thank you. Drink to that. And cheers, cheers everybody. Cheers. Cheers.